Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Go ahead. We're good. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 40... 45. 45. Wow. 45, baby. We're almost, at, we're almost at that one-year mark, ladies and gentlemen. One year of Daddy's fucking dungeon. That one year is going to hit... 52 weeks. 52 weeks in a year. Oh, episode 52, uh-huh. huh? Damn. 52, 52 weeks. weeks in a year. Really? Yeah. I thought that was 56. Am I wrong? You might be fucking wrong. I'm, I'm not. I, no, I'm doubling down. I'm 100 percent right. It's 52 weeks. I just did it the math in my head. 52 weeks. Um, Technically, it's 52.14. But you can give me. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Give me any three numbers, and a single number to divide it by, and I can get it. So like three hundred and forty two by set by seven? For what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, three hundred and forty two by seven. Sixty four. <laughs> what? Three hundred and forty two. Sixty three. Sixty three. That's forty eight point eight five. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I wasn't even close. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I tried. Imagine I got it right. It was did you think I was right? Do you think I was close? Honestly, I thought you were giving it a good try. I tried for a second. I thought you were giving it a good try. Tried. I tried for a second. And um, in in school was was math your subject of choice? It was, yeah, I was pretty good at math. Yeah, that was your strong suit. That was my strong suit. Remember, there was a a teacher. He let me and this one guy, who actually did this eraser challenge to me. Mm-hmm. I fell asleep. He let us sit in the front of the class, but do whatever we wanted. Was this Mr. Taylor? No. Okay. Mr. Hodgin. Oh, Everyone him. didn't like him because he was like, oh, he just makes us work at Velo Boss. So he, like, he would be teaching the lesson. He'd already give us the homework. That's how good we were. Mm-hmm. And we just do all the homework real fast. And then he's, he just let us sit there and play on our phone. And everyone was so jealous. I love that glass. Hell yeah, dude. And that's like when I first smelled weed. When you first smelled it? Yeah. When you first mm-hmm. smelled it. It was my freshman year, bro. Well, I've never smelled weed before. Smelt it? Never. Who had it? Well, I'm not gonna fucking out them Damn, like that. Damn, you gonna out them like that? Should, we'll just bleep it out. Uh, and they were, were they in your table? They were. So like, here's like the class, right? Uh-huh. I was in the middle. There were two rows to the left, all the way in the back corner, okay. and I was in the very front. But the teacher, he would like step down. I was like, "Damn, it smells like skunk." I legit said that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's how that's that's how white I am. It smells like skunk in here, and they were like, "Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> they're like, "It's that zaza, like, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like, "Shut the fuck up!" We got edibles in the back. I was like, "Bro, it smells like skunk." <laughs> I was like, "Put that shit away." Oh man. Yeah, dude. They literally told me to shut the fuck up, and then like thinking back on that, I was like, "Dude, I'm so white." <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a white little good kid. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm like a white little fucking prep kid, like oh, I'm fucking perfect and blah blah. blah. I remember, I remember at a moment like that too, where um, well, yeah, when you're like fourth fucking grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, not even man. This is in high school, all right. This mm. is in high school, and it was a, a buddy of ours, you know, a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. he's mm-hmm. sitting in front of me. Yeah, he's sitting in front of me in history class, and uh, actually, I want to say it was like a. Econ and Gov, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, that class, right? Yes, dude. It is that class. And he, he, was, he was sitting like behind me or in front of me. One of those two. And uh, it just fucking reeks of weed. Oh. Right? Mm-hmm. And so, suddenly, we get the fucking, the dog coming in. You hear the jangling. Oh, no the, way. You hear the jangling of his fucking collar and everything. Uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Wh- whose fucking weed is it, you know? So they, they they get us out of the room. They're they're brushing the room with the dog, and uh-huh. then they're like, "All right, whose backpacks are these? Oh, ours? What the fuck? Like, well, you you guys need to come with come with me. You're one of them. Come on. Yeah. 
It was me, him, and one other person. But I you didn't have it. I know that for a fact. I didn't have it. Uh-huh. I didn't have it. And then, uh, you know, they did the whole, their whole fucking strip search and everything. You know? I didn't have it. Mm-hmm. But. Shit. Oh, damn it, dude. He had that Zaza. He huh? had, I, we're going to have to leave his name. But yeah. yeah, he had those Zaza. He, had the, but he always had the best Zaza. Oh, yeah. And he had it on him. Bro, he would test it, like everything. He had it they on They caught him? him? Yeah, they got it on him. What happened to him? I don't know. Probably got to, like suspended or whatever. It's not, that big, it's not that big of a thing. I don't think it was econ class because he was in my econ class. Hmm. Uh huh. No, it was probably government. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was it was, it was in because in my econ class he was like, hey bro, you need some water because we had we had just smoked outside like right before lunch. Mm-hmm. Like you know you put it in your little sweater, <laughs> blow it out and <laughs> through the sweater. He's like, hey, you need some water, bro. Like you look a little thirsty. I was like, oh yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, vodka. I was like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, what the fuck is going on? He was like, yeah, I put vodka in it, bro. <laughs> Fucking straight Jesus vodka, Christ, dude. dude. Dude, I can't remember. I used to sell pre rolls, and I kept trying to sell you one for like the longest time. I was like, "Hey, you want to buy a pre roll, bro?" You're like, "No." You just kept telling me no every time. Every time I offered you one, no, no, bro, no, hell no, no, no. That was so funny. I don't know why. And then like you just started smoking a bunch of crack. When that when that happened, you didn't want to buy a pre roll off me or something. Got to lose weight, baby. Got a fitness challenge going. <laughs> you didn't want to fucking buy a pre roll off me, bro? Never. The fuck? Never. Never had the dough like that. It was 20 bucks. Anyways. Um, had wax on it. Oh, and in it. Shit. Fuck. He had the best Zaza. It smelled like Zaza. No, 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 no. I was going to say, math, math definitely was the strong suit of yours. What about you? Mine? Yeah. I was a big science guy. Oh, shut the fuck up. I was. I bro, swear. fucking science and fucking I, I science in high school is the easiest shit. You just experimented with random that shit. shit. Yeah, I mean, go to fucking college and do that shit. Science was the most fun class yeah. ever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was you, so, I, you, you said know. strong suit. You're talking about having fun. Yeah, no, no, no. If no, I no, no, no. I could have said engineering, bro. Okay. Like, <laughs> that class was fun. But see. Fun is my strong suit. Oh. So, oh. in that case, the most fun classes are always the ones with the biggest tables. Oh, you know dude. what I mean? Just like engineering class. I miss yeah, those days. The classes with the biggest tables where they have the four uh-huh. the four kids in one table. The best fucking classes. Everybody has the best memories in those classes. I have, I have a few memories in those. Like... You know when they like would like put like the water bottle above your, like on the string and throw it across and shit like that. One time it fucking fell like right in front of me. That that shit was <laughs> scary. Like the string broke or something. And then I remember uh, I'll bleep his name again. He would come into my first period class. He ditched his first period just to come sit in my class. It was the weirdest thing. And the teacher gave no fucks. Mm-hmm. And then my other one, we had like a teacher's her first year, and like I guess one of the classes was so bad that. She quit in the middle. Like, they were just, like, kept making fun of her and shit, and she just quit. They sent us to another guy named Mr. Ski. That was my fucking favorite teacher. He was the one that would play Vitas, the fucking seventh element. That guy. Dude, I don't remember him. I don't remember him. He was a college professor, too? I don't remember him. Fuck. Okay, well, he was like, oh, this is my prep period, so do whatever you want. And then when we take the final... I'm giving you the answers. And I was like, yo, fuck yeah. <laughs> Cause he was like, this is my period to do whatever I want. And so he'd be playing the guitar, he'd watching YouTube, whatever. Didn't do shit. Literally just said, do whatever you want. I love that. That was my favorite class. Or engineering. See, I feel like we've talked about that before. We have. No, I talked about that teacher before, yes. Cause I, cause I was gonna say. We have. We, they need to incorporate different shit into school. We haven't talked about that. We haven't? No. Because, dude, I mean, I think they got to, instead of, like, I mean, government, fine, history, all right, cool. Yeah. Math, some of it, right? Debatable. Some math. You literally told me that you use math in your everyday work life. And you're like, yeah, you'd be surprised. We actually use those formulas now. No, 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 no. No. Hold on. Some mm-hmm. math. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you don't got to go to fucking trigonometry. You know, we got to go to maybe not even private stack. Okay. But um, 
Where was I going with it? <laughs> you, they need to add more stuff. <laughs> they need to add different shit. What, like, like what? Like how to how to find a fucking job after school? Taxes. Taxes. How to how to beat the system in taxes? Yes. Yeah. You know, how, like real life shit. Uh-huh. You know, like because school is fucking manipulated to be. They're ma- it's made to pump out like factory workers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just bam, bam, bam. Instead of like entrepreneurs and shit. That's what sucks. That's what Elon Musk was doing. That's his school. Yeah, that's dope. But how the fuck do you get in there? The bling bling. You gotta bling, get that bling bling. The bling bling, my brother. Yeah. From another mother. That's dead. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just a joke. Just chill out. She's dead. Okay. All right, Pete. No, you're 100% right. But that's why it's flawed because they have like, they've had this, this, what do you call it? It's like a. What do like they call format? it? Format. Exactly. What do they call it in engineering? It's like a, a standard. It's literally called a standard. Okay. They have this teaching standard, that's been in place since like the fifties or sixties. Uh huh. Shit has changed since then. Yeah. Back totally. then, like that shit was that's how you live. Like you fucking went to fucking work in the factory and shit. Right. It's fucking completely different now. They need to change the standard. The standard has to change. Well, and obviously now you know, you're not teaching a fucking fourth grader first aid because I'm sure they were teaching you them, I'm sure they were teaching them first aid back then so they could have it in the factories with you, the child labor you should right CPR you know I need to teach my autistic third three year old nephew CPR totally how well do you think he'd understand it not not well no he'd no. be like bro toy story put it on <laughs> put it on put it on I need it I need it now he's like why are you trying to kiss me bro he's like put on I, toy story I, I keep getting scared like knocking at your house cause like I don't know if they're there and then if they're asleep oh. I, no I mean dude you know if you're gonna knock you're gonna knock fuck it Amazon guy's gonna come UPS is gonna come somebody's gonna come I don't want your mom to be mad at me ah uh, shit sure. and then I also feel bad cause I noticed like you guys have your shoes right there on the stairs so I'm assuming you take your shoes off where mm-hmm. you walk up I'm not taking my fucking boots off, bro. Nah, you're cool, dude. Okay, are you sure? Because like, I do feel a little bad, but I'm like, I'm not going to take my boots off just to walk up, get a hard drive, and walk back down and put my boots back on. Yeah. And then your mom's like, oh, damn, those sweaty feet. I know. Ooh. And then yeah. she's going to have me piss on my feet in the fucking <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> she's not going to have you do it. She's just going to suggest it. All yeah. right? She's just going to suggest it. Uh, my feet don't smell other than like after work, but I feel like that's a little normal. Yeah, that's I, well, obviously everybody has, you know, after work odor, mm-hmm. you know. So you got them pheromones. Some worse than others, huh? Pheromones releasing from the body. Uh Hell yeah, some Uh worse than others. I was talking about myself. You know, typically my, like, work sweat isn't too... Too bad? Too bad. I I find that really hard to believe. You know? My work sweat, because... Is it, is it, is your, is your sleep sweat... Worse than your work sweat? Nah, my sleep sweat is like nothing. It's just straight water. <laughs> you know, it's like nothing. It's like, like you can straight up drink that shit. Bottle it. Glug glug glug. <laughs> fucking Dasani. <laughs> Plug. You know. But my work sweat. That's that dirty shit. That is that dirty shit. Literally, like you're fucking filthy. Cause it's yeah, it's filthy. Filthy. Filthy, salty. You can taste it sometimes. Not very good. Oh, totally. I'll just lick my upper lip real quick. Mm-hmm. Oh. Give, it, give it a quick little... Oh, man. I'm licking this. I'm licking the fucking Atlantic, baby. <laughs> it's like I just dipped my tongue in the Atlantic. How fucking salty and crispy it is. Bro, I was watching like some nature show on Netflix. Or fucking bear outside. You hear that shit? I know. <laughs> what the Jesus fuck Christ. Was that? Hey, Jesus. hey, it's a fucking... Uh, Cocaine, uh, cocaine bear. bear. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck are they verified on Twitter? <laughs> like, bro, they got the yellow check, bro. bro. How is a cocaine bear They're going crazy at on in theaters? Is it really? Bro, it is going I mean, I don't know if it's out yet. Dude, that's the dumbest fucking movie thing I've seen. It's like Sharknado. Ah, dude, I know. It's like these guys lose a bag of cocaine and the bear eats it. Okay, so it comes out February twenty fourth of this year. 2023, okay? Mm-hmm. But it's, dude, it's been What's the hot tomato score. It's not out have, yet. They gotta have it. It's not out yet. So it's not gonna say. But, um, dude, people are getting so fucking hype over this shit. It's because it's cocaine. I've been hearing about it everywhere. Because it's, it's literally because it's cocaine. 
<laughs> it's yeah, it's insane. It's insane. What were the what was the director on? What, what's a writer on when he made this? Probably, probably cocaine. They're probably like high out their mind right on mushrooms or something. It, it did, and then they're just like, oh, dude, that would be funny. And they just start writing it. it did, yeah, it doesn't take much. You know what I mean? It probably takes a lot. No. Uh, you think it takes a lot? You know, like my aunt's um, husband, boyfriend? Yes. My uncle? He's uh, He has a part in a fucking Brad Pitt movie with George Clooney. He's a part in it. Like Ocean, one of the oceans? Huh? One of the oceans? Brad Pitt? Ocean movies? I, I don't know. Like, I know he's doing a movie with George Clooney soon. Like, oh, he's gonna... doing a movie or did? He's doing it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He's going to play like some Asian... Okay. Well, I'll... He's Asian. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. He's Asian. It's going to be like a five minute part. He's just going to be a guy singing karaoke in one of the scenes. Oh, really? Like <laughs> the camera's just going over through a bar. The uh-huh. guy's just... An Asian guy's just singing karaoke in the corner. Yeah. You know? Then yep. he goes to uh-huh. a Brad Pitt. Yep. Fucking... Like, I know he looks kind of weird, but he takes his acting, like, very seriously. Like, I've seen him act, like, in person. Takes it very seriously. Mm-hmm. So he, like, got all dressed up, did his hair, like, kind of, like, fixed his mustache. And he, like, put on a performance of a lifetime. They sent the video in. His agent called him. He's like, yeah, you got the job. Uh-huh. He's going to be on set for five days. That's badass. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Do you so, know what movie it is? He doesn't know. Brad Pitt? And George Clooney. And George Clooney? It's their movie. It's coming out? Not... Soon. Soon they're making it. Oh, okay. But I thought that was pretty cool. So not not many people have probably heard of it then. Exactly. Hmm. Not yet, at least. And so he he kind of has those uh, like extra gigs kind of repeatedly, right? So what he does on the he teaches on the side. Yeah. Because he graduated from UCLA, so he teaches. That's like his real job. It's one it's like whatever, whatever. Okay, but then. Full time, he's a professor. Not a professor, just like a high school teacher. Oh, teacher, okay. But I think he just left that. He's had like a feeling that it wasn't for him. Uh-huh. So, but and during the summer, the summer months, he does like seminars at colleges for like one week, mm-hmm. like acting classes for one week. And then like um, that class puts on a, a comedy show at the end, an acting, an acting show. That's what he does during the summer. So, I know it's not summer, but next month... He's going to Las Vegas for a whole month. They're paying for everything just so he can go teach at the University of Las Vegas. It's pretty cool. But as far as like those little... Oh, little gigs? Those little gigs of being like an extra? Well, like I said, he he actually has like a bigger part on a Netflix series coming out in 2024. Yeah. Not sure what it is. I forgot already. Something Rising Sun or something. There's that. And then like music videos and shit like that. Because, like, one of his best friends that he, like, took care of, he's younger than him, but he took care of him when he was, like, on the come up. Uh-huh. He owns a he owns a company called Riveting Entertainment. They make music videos for, like, the highest, like, Jack Harlow, Tyga, fucking YG, all of them. So, when he can, he gets my uncle parts, like, little... Little, like, little, like extras Little cameos, yeah, yeah, little okay. extras. So, when he does have those gigs as little extras, do you think if he does that full time... Do you think he can like support himself? You think that's a full on career right there? Yeah, and I'm sure he can probably get bigger parts also. Right, like, I know he did I mean, like a cannabis commercial. Ah. Uh, where he was like a dad. Yeah. I don't know if it ever came out. No, it did come out. I need to ask him for it. You know, and I'm, I'm not talking about him being like a like an act like an actor being mm-hmm. mul- like saying multiple lines and shit like that, you know? No, I know, like being an extra. Yeah. So it depends on how much you do it and like I'm sure you can make a living off of it. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Can you make a living off just being Is he making a living off of it? No. Right. That's a side business for him. But it's extra. Do you think you can? Yeah. Or you think you just gotta hustle the shit out of it? But I think that's I think I think that's how you start. You start as an extra and you just like keep you keep you you keep building your resume. Right. As you make connections and shit. We get an indie movie now, I'm gonna be a fucking actor and like you know, just like little parts. Yeah. Keep moving your way up. I get you. Mm Mm-hmm. If you had to be a celebrity, would you rather be a movie star or a musician? A musician. Musician? Yeah. Because movie stars are actually like... <clears throat> you have to be really strict about everything. Movies. Dude, every fucking episode, man. I'm not going to tell you this shit, dude. 
Fuck Kyle. <laughs> Fuck, bro. So what other type of celebrities are there? There's, There's movie athletes. Stars. Oh, movie that's stars. right. Okay. So athletes is like any sport. I'm talking about NASCAR, yeah. or anything. Okay, Athlete, so there's athletes, musicians, movie, star. movie stars, right? Chefs. I don't know uh, if that's TV that big of a celebrity. TV personalities. Those are a little different than than. I, I kind of mix that in with act. Okay. With like, okay. We'll put those together. Yeah. Movie stars. I think that's it. What else is there? Oh, like, I mean, politicians. That's what I mean. But then those are like Einstein and shit like that. Oh okay. You know, like what would you consider that famous like critical thinkers? I guess. I guess. I don't know. Nobel Peace Prize winners and shit. Oh. Bob well, Ross. Yeah. Huh. Bob Ross. That's the goat. Bob Ross. The goat. Um, we'll just do the big three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Athletes, musicians, actors. Yes. Okay. I would be a musician. Okay. Why? Freedom. Freedom. Literally freedom. Unless I'm, like, tied down by a label. Freedom. What do you mean, freedom? See, so I think about, like, an actor, you have to, like, listen to what they say. Because if you do something out of line, they can just cut you from the movie, right? Uh-huh. And then you have to, like, follow a strict diet. You have to, like, be here at this time. You have to do this at that time. You have to, like, all this shit, right? Like, all these press conferences and all all that shit. Athlete, same thing. You're under, like, strict and you can get injured and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a hard fucking job. Being an athlete, it's not easy. Yeah, you're rich, but it's not easy. Right. Musician, you're literally getting paid to do what you love. I, I assume you love making music. Yeah, right. But a lot of people do stop liking music. Like, that's like a big thing, I think, right? Like, they stop liking music after that. Because they've just done so much of it? It's kind of like when... That's what I fear with Puya. It's kind of like when um, when most people, you know, they, they get their first job, and it's typically like a fast food type job. Mm-hmm. And say, for example, they used to eat... At Carl's Jr. a lot, but mm. then in high school they got a car- job at Carl's Jr. and mm. now they don't like Carl's Jr. as much. Like it just overwhelmed them, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just became too much. Yeah, I feel, that. I feel that. But um, what were we saying about Puya? I don't know. I feel like he's gonna burn himself out. Why? He's making too much? Too much. Oh, you think he's gotta slow down? Yeah. See, I, that's that's the problem that I see with some of. Uh, some of the bands I listen to, they got to hurry up a little bit. See, like, he dropped, uh, fuck. He dropped his last album, right? For what it was called, like, Forever Waging My Sin or something like that. No, that's not it. Whatever. He dropped, he dropped his last album. Well, Blood is Thicker Than Water, right? Then, like, a month later, he dropped, like, an eight-song EP. Like, he just dropped, like, a mixtape. What? Are we good? He, he dropped, he dropped a mixtape, like, two months later. Right? Then he dropped a single. And then another single. Another single. This is all in one year. And now he's going to drop a whole other album. And he just dropped another mixtape with All But Six. And he's like in every song. I mean, hey man, he'll, he'll be good, you know? He, he'll be fine. But like I told you, like each album's different, bro. The sound is different. Like he's just going to get bored one day. And that's it. No more. He's like, hey, I'm done. I'll drop, I'll drop one song a year. Think he's going to like... Yeah, you don't think he's looking like Kurt Cobain or something, do you? No, dude. Okay. No, maybe. He, whoa, 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 whoa. He actually whoa. hasn't posted anything like that in a while. Sometimes I worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> I worry about my boy right here. Yeah, dude. So, I guess a lot of people are saying, you know, that, um, I guess there was some footage that came out recently about the, with the X shoot, X shooting. Oh, yeah. I guess people, are, they're trying to tie it to Drake. Bro. I was having a conversation with somebody about this. I don't remember who. Yeah, I don't remember. They're there's trying like, there's like lyrics that he's saying that he killed X or he had a hit on X. Like uh, I don't know. You can look that shit up, bro. Was there? Yeah. And then apparently... Yeah. No, Drake legit has lyrics talking about like him killing X or having him get killed, right? Okay. But there was like... I don't know if this is true because I don't know how to play music in reverse. Mm-hmm. But I wanted like the... I think it was like Jocelyn Flores. You played in reverse. Uh-huh. He's saying, "Help, Drake's trying to kill me." Some shit like that. Oh, okay, Remember that? Gotcha. that was a long time ago, though. You know, but the thing is, Drake. Okay, obviously you can see this picture I got right you here. You never know, bro. Drake's like forty-five, dog. He might be like everyone's like, "Oh, Drake's so nice," and Drake's nah, this nah, and Drake's that. What I want to ask you is, is is Drake that guy? Personally, 
Like, I know everyone Everyone likes Drake, bro. Like, is he a hitter, though? You know what I mean? Is oh, he yeah. a, a hitter? Is he one of those? Yeah, he's not the hitter, but he's probably getting the people hit. Yeah, right. But what I'm at, what I'm telling you is like, is he is he a boss like that? Pro- yeah, probably. You think so? Probably. Damn. What What about X? You think he's getting people to do it, or you think he's doing it himself? I think he's probably gonna do it himself. <laughs> probably right. Damn. So you think Drake is kind of like a, like a, a he's like a top a boss. G. Yeah. You think he's a he's, boss, he's the really? top G, bro. Wow. So the whole of the whole music industry, you think is him? Fuck no. Who'd you say it is? It was Michael Jackson, baby. Oh, Michael Jackson's fucking dead, though. Is he, though? But, yeah, I'm definitely. Just kidding. <laughs> he, he definitely in, like, Dubai or something like that. Okay, that video with Theo Vaughn and Drewski, that joke went right over Drewski's head, bro. <laughs> oh, I know. He was like, I know. He, like, he would have been 10. How would I have met him? He's like, that's the best time to meet him. And then the Drewski was like, anyways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it would have been a good time. Yeah. yeah, dude, for real. So who would you say is, like, probably the, the, the top boss? The one who caused the Beyonce whole, the or Jay Z, yeah, those what two. Are, maybe, those yeah, two? maybe the power couple. Yeah, do you think so? Yeah, definitely, definitely, dude. Everyone loves Beyonce with a passion. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I could see Beyonce up there, but not Jay Z. I think Drake got him. But I'm saying like they rule as a power couple. So you think they just it's by default they just got to be there? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Drake's at the top though. Twenty One Savage carries him. Rich Flex. Drake ruined that whole fucking song except for the beginning. So you Twenty One, think- can you do something for him? See, look, he's already telling Twenty One to do something for him. Let's see. Oh my <laughs> God. See, Drake seems like a. You didn't even look at the lyrics. Like that, a nice boy. You, you know didn't even look at the lyrics that got him oh, killed. Oh, that's right, right, right. See, but Drake seems like that nice boy, but like that—that's his ploy. That's his mo. I don't know. I think he got... I, me, personally, the lyrics, bro. Just not the lyrics alone. Pfft, come on. Come on, Drake. I'm looking. I'm looking. It's a lot of fucking text. I can't read that fast. Bro, it was literally showing the lyrics Where? in quotes. You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? Oh, thank you. Nah, that's not it. Look Alive. That song, that's a good song. Look, look, look. They won't be expecting this shit when Kyle go to slide. It's the whole damn song. Drake plotting the whole time by giving X a... F- See, look. A false oh, sense. Oh, okay. The oh. beef was over. Yeah, got it. Oh. Wow. Damn, that's why wow. he's saying... That's why he's saying, look alive. Like, look out, motherfucker. Oh my god! Upper. Oh my god! SMS, look, 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 look oh hold on. So, that's that's the biggest one right there. It's Drake. It's fucking. Oh Drake, my god! Bro. It said SMX triple X. It's Drake for sure. Look there. Hey, stop. SMS triple right. X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the neck. Skirt. And he got shot below the neck because they wanted him to know that that's X. Calm down, detective. Oh. Calm down, detective. I just saw the case, doctor. <laughs> Calm down, Even detective. Even though this has already been on the internet for a fucking long ass time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Calm down, detective. How did we get how did we get here? How did we get here? We just stopped roping the boat. <laughs> we let the water take us ashore. <laughs> we always do. <laughs> where did we land? Who knows where? <laughs> we always know. let it we always we always drift. We just let the water fucking take us. Is this why you think people don't like us? <laughs> I, I think we're two very likable people, honestly. I would say so. I would say so too. You know? Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Yeah. Uh, and you know, obviously that 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 range is pretty big. Yeah. Then you got those little slivers on both sides. Mm-hmm. You know, the extremists on both sides. Motherfuckers are too sensitive. That motherfuckers are a little too intense. I was hoping I was gonna get a lot more hate for a tweet, and I got nothing but love. <laughs> I was totally joking, but I said. <laughs> I said, we need to bring back bullying, motherfucker, stop this fuck out here. <laughs> and I got nothing but love on that drive. <laughs> everyone was like, fuck yeah, bro. Like, everyone's so soft. No, but the thing is, no, you're fucking right, bro. I, I know. We need it. You know what we need to bring back? <laughs> bullying? You know what we need to bring back? What? We need to bring back the gaming lobbies for Modern Warfare 2. You know how toxic that was when I was like nine years the old? The Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We need to bring. I think. I think that's where. That's definitely where I learned how to shit talk. That is where 
you became battle hardened. You became battle hardened uh-huh. there and lunch. Yeah. You know? L- lunch was it, man. Those were the two places. The gaming hardened your mind. Yeah. The lunch hardened your fucking armor. Like, dude, there's just so much shit talking back in the day. Yeah. It just doesn't happen anymore. It's just always like one like five year old playing music now. That's all you hear in the lobby, and then it's like, "Hey, bro, shut the fuck up," and that's it. Yeah, it was because it, I don't know what it was then. It's like back when we were in school, there you just there were just so much more people. You think about it like this? One or for two. Those are the '90s kids. But that was us too. No, but I'm talking about the early thousands kids. But like the '90s kids, that's like their prime. High school age. Yeah, that's like... That's re- why. That's their real, like... So, like, they grew up with that age. chucking shit. Yeah. And then they kind of gave it to us, and then we haven't passed it on. No. I don't think we... I don't think we can. I don't think they can take it. It's gonna skip a generation. You I, know how they say, like, the look skip a generation? That's why I'm so fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd they drop it off to? I, I don't know. They drop it off to nobody else. Is your sister older than, than John? My sister, yeah. She's the oldest. So just, My sister is like fucking shit. She's like 70 already. Shit. She's Jesus old. Christ. No, she's like 30, I think. Okay. Fuck, oh, she's old. Fucking old. 32 or something like that. I don't know. That, so that means she was changing her fucking diaper. Yeah, totally yeah. changed my diaper. A good amount of time. She was at the age where I was like, yeah, this is yeah, this is your like, job now. Well, you're, you're mom part time. Yeah, this is your job now. Clock in, honey. I, I mean, she has, a different, she has a different love for you. She has a different love for me, yeah. Kind of like a mother to love. And but now you have love for her children. It's it's come full circle. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, it's crazy because the other, the other day, this was probably like a week ago. I'm sorry, not the other day. But I was kind of just, I was thinking about the kids, right? And uh-huh. I was like, oh, you know what? Man, I miss the kids. I'll bust out my fucking pictures. Uh-huh. I'm going to look at them. Uh-huh. Right? So I went on my sister's Instagram and everything. I was looking at pictures. And I was like, oh, my God. I was getting a little tear jerked. Oh my god, you have baby fever. I was like, oh my god. I shouldn't have said that. I was like, I love those fucking kids. No, but I was just thinking like, I really, really, I really, really hope that they just grow up and have a good fucking uprising. You know? I, th- I think they're, your, your sister's doing a pretty good job and her husband too. You know what I mean? Yeah, your like, husband. her husband has a good job, right? Yeah. Well, we're not going to say what it is, but yeah, he, I, no. I assume that's a good job. And your sister's in the right direction. Yeah. No, but yeah, I'm just kind of like, man, I really hope, like, they just, they don't get bullied. I hope they don't fucking, I hope they're just perfect. I hope they're just good. Just a good normal life. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hope they fucking have lots of friends, you know, enjoy recess every fucking day. I hope all the girls like them. Nice. I hope fucking they get picked first every time for everything. I got picked last every time, but you know I was a I mean? fucking savage. I was a fucking you savage. See, but, you know, you got to overcome. When your idols become your rivals. Yeah, I overcome a lot. When your idols become your rivals. That's right. Where's that from? I forgot it. But yeah, dude, it, it's just, and like when I think about that, I get kind of... Sad? Not sad. I, I just get a little like... Emo for it, you know. Emo for them. Just start cutting yourself. Get a little emotional. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no. no I, I get a little emotional, you know. I've talked about it before, but it's, it's like, and they're, and they're not even my fucking kids. Yeah. So I can't even imagine what my sister's going through. Oh. Uh-huh. You know, like remember I told you sometimes I can't sleep at night because like she's not there. That sucks. Mm. But that was like we had a personal conversation. And that's like that. different. That's way different because that's your daughter. I know. That's yeah. on a different level. Same same with like my sister. Dude, all day at work, I'm always just fucking looking at videos of her on the phone. Mm-hmm. But like I noticed, this is like off topic, but like I always turn around now because like I notice like what song she's bumping her head to. And I keep that in mind. Like, little, I posted a video today. A little baby song? No. Or what do you Just mean? music I like. Oh, in the car. Like, I posted that video on, on Instagram today. Oh, okay. On my gotcha. story. Yeah. Young Go, she was fucking vibing out. She's fucking, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I keep mental notes of, like, songs she likes. Right, right. You're like, oh, cool. I can play this one. Yeah. Gotcha. Any Ghost Man song, I skip it right away. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can just imagine. <laughs> oh, she hates metal, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. I <laughs> she starts just, crying. I can just imagine, bro. I tried. I was like, well, yeah. I mean, most babies would, right? Probably. But you got to teach them young. 
You gotta teach him what real music is. Let me ask you this. There was a... He doesn't work with me anymore. But... He was like, yeah, I listen to all types of music except for country and like screamo shit like that. Because mm. he's like, that's not even music. He wasn't talking about country. He's talking about screamo. He was like, that takes no talent. And I was like, yo. To fucking... <laughs> For that fucking long And then still sing That's some fucking Serious talent Yeah No offense No but you see The thing Pig is Pig squealing But the thing is They're They're saying the word As they're yeah. Screaming like that Yeah It's fucking crazy um, That's why I was Countering him Cause like bro I think that takes Serious talent Yeah And a lot of the times They're, they're playing a fucking Instrument too And not only that It's like If you don't do it correctly You can really fuck yourself up Probably Like you can really Do some damage I'm not sure how it works So I won't I won't comment But I I would assume Yes Yeah but it's uh, It definitely takes some skill To do it I remember um, There was this I I had this one buddy That uh, He was a co-worker of mine Mm -hmm. And Whenever we'd work together I would uh, bring in my speaker And we would always Fucking have it going While we'd be working Uh You know And there was that type of music And shit And uh, he was constantly, constantly practicing. Oh shit! So he liked it. He loved that shit. Like he, he would have loved to be a singer. Mm. And he was constantly practicing. Like this dude had it fucking down. He was a great screamer. Um, but uh, the dude, that shit takes a lot out of you. Fuck, dude. All right, guys. If you ever wanted to start a podcast. It takes essentials. And one of them, and the most essential, is Anchor. The easiest and most seamless way to upload and share your podcast to anybody and everybody. All it takes is the click of a button and bam, you're up. Everywhere. So be sure to check out anchor.fm to get up and started today. Sorry, everybody. You know, technical difficulties. But, anyways. Anywho. Welcome back, episode 45. Welcome back, episode 45, baby. <laughs> that shit takes talent, bro, for real. The screamo? The screaming. Yeah. It takes a lot out of you. Yeah, dude, you get exhausted, your fucking throat hurts. And because there's this band I listen to, Dystopia, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Where their singer is their drummer. Nice. That's pr- Okay, that's really hard. But it's good. Uh, but he, it's, not, it's not the singing you would... It's not like melodic singing. It's mm-hmm. fucking pretty, pretty intense. Good, intense shit. I feel like you'd have like two microphones, like one on each side, so you can you just fucking I mean? drum out and fucking. <gasps> it's intense. I mean, I won't play it for fucking for obvious reasons. legal purposes. Yeah, you know, but I'll show you afterwards. Uh-huh. You know, if you want to look it up, dystopia. You know, hum- humans equal garbage. I uh, I went all the way to the first album of Deftones. So I was like, I want to see what they were like. Adrenaline. They were fucking savage. Yeah, they're sick. That was a fucking sick album. That album's so good. But like, you think about like their, like, what's like their most famous song? Like fucking sex tape. No, their most famous song is probably like. Sex tape. Uh, there's a couple. I know "Shove It's" really popular. You know, "Shove It's" really popular. I know "Change" is really popular as yeah, well. Yeah, that one. But like, that sounds nothing like their first album. That's what's so cool. Like, I bet you most people that say, like, they like Deftones, right? Don't even know about that shit. What's weird, though? Oh, see, Be Quiet and Drive, Shove It, that's another Sex one. Sex Tape is up there? Yeah. That's, I, that might be my favorite song by them. What's What's crazy, though, is I, what I don't understand is there's this whole conception of, like, Deftones is sexy, Deftones is horny, Deftones is hot. They're Deftones pretty fucking is, hot, dude. No, Let me see. I, I don't... No, they're not. I don't know. I don't think they're saying them. Their music. Deftones, the music, the vibe. Well, dude, music does that to you. Yeah, but I don't get that from this. From them? Yeah. What about sex tape? Uh, no, I don't. I, I totally get that from sex tape. I don't get that from. No, I don't get that from, from them. Dude, sex tape makes me so fucking. I don't know wet. if I'm trying to fuck to Deftones. No. No. That's like more like the weekend type beat. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> No, not the weekend. No, maybe like some Lady Gaga, Bad Romance, fucking just killing it. Fucking or are you talking about like her fucking? Born this way. Yeah, with a little dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was born this way, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh man, <laughs> with my little dick. <laughs> Dive in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about fucking Daddy Harry winning the album of the year over Kendrick Lamar? Who? Harry Styles. 
Harry Styles. You won album of the year over Kendrick Lamar. Over Kendrick Lamar. To be completely honest, man, I didn't listen to Kendrick Lamar's new album. So I, I can't even tell you. I can't even give you my honest opinion about it. Okay, hold on. Have you heard Lil Yachty's new album? No. I don't even listen to Lil Yachty. Everyone's saying that it's the best album ever created. But I never heard Lil... Well, I've heard some songs, but I mean, like, I don't listen listen to him, you know? Right, you're not an avid Lil Yachty listener. Uh Let's start here, huh? Is that what it is? Apparently, it's supposed to be fucking God tier. Wow. Okay. How many songs is it? 14. Huh. Wow, there's some pretty hefty songs on here. Yeah? There's about... Wow, there's one six minute, like three five minutes. But you're supposed to uh, listen to it more than once, they said. Just to listen to it again. They just want they just want you to let it grow on again. And, like with, with that Puya album, I was like, damn, I kind of don't like it, but I fucking love that album now. See, but I think that's what happens with most albums, though. You think so? For What's, me- like, because it's, cause it's different? I don't know, man. Because I remember that, the Harry Styles album, right? The... Harry's, Harry's House? Harry's House. That uh-huh. one album of the year. So, I remember with that one, I was kind of like iffy on it. I was uh-huh. like, oh, it's, it's pretty good. Matilda? And then, you know, eventually I was like, oh, wow, that's a good fucking, that's a good album. And that seems to, that seems to usually be how it is. I fucking confuse the shit out of myself. That's always how it is for me. Most of the time, that's, that's how it tends to be. Yeah. Um, one more thing about music. What about that Miley Cyrus song where she's dissing uh, Chris Hemsworth or Liam Hemsworth? Flowers. Dude. Flowers. Dude. When they were playing it on the radio, the guy was like switching it up. I was like, holy shit. Flowers. That- I guess I guess he like said that this is like my song for you, the Bruno Mars song. Mm-hmm. So she made a whole song basically like, I'll do it myself. Yeah. Fuck your flowers. Dude, yeah. that was fucking savagery. Yeah. I wonder what he did to her. Well, I mean, I know there was this one clip where uh, they were at, like, this Avengers red carpet event, uh-huh. right? And so, obviously, you know, Liam, Liam Hemsworth is there because he's there with his brother and shit. And so, he's coming by with the red carpet with, with his girl. Uh-huh. And she's over here trying to take these, you know, crazy pics. You know, Miley Cyrus, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, uh-huh. she's, a, she's a big... Uh, yeah. She's a big... She's out she's there. She's a big personality. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh-huh. So, she's trying to take these crazy pictures, you know. She's trying to get the audience going and shit. And he kind of doesn't like it, mm-hmm. so he's kind of like, "All right, babe, like, come down." He's like, "Stop, stop." And then, and then she was like, "He's proper oh. English." She's like, "Fuck you, whatever," you know, like, you know. And then I don't know if that was it, but you can tell that that's that's how the relationship is. But that that's kind of like he's more calm, tied down, like, you know, yeah, vanilla, and she's like, fucking double stuffed chocolate cake, <laughs> <laughs> D- double stuffed chocolate. <laughs> Cake. <laughs> See, but but typically, or I don't know about typically. I saw this TikTok where it was this fucking, I guess, this dating professional or fucking marriage uh-huh. professional or whatever. Um, she was saying how typically opposites go together perfectly, uh-huh. right? And so that one definitely didn't. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely didn't. I feel like that's just like a saying, but no one knows if it's true or not. Oh, opposites attract. Oh my god, opposites attract. I, so, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I've been having these these wet dreams. Wow. Wow. But not about sex. It's about this pizza, bro. I had the best pizza probably I've ever had. I'm fucking starving. I am <laughs> fucking starving right now. Bro, I've probably had the best pizza I ever had. You just tell Jake to bring you some food, bro. But that you're that you're broke. Let's be real. You think he's gonna do it? If you text him right now, I bet you. No, have, what time not. is it? No way. What time we is? No way in hell. Eight eleven. He's out already. Anyways. He sits in the parking lot for a good. It's not time. happening, bro. It's not happening. Whatever. Um. <laughs> hey, not dissing Jake, by the way. This past weekend. This past weekend. Feel what? No. Okay. Went to LA for a concert. Jordan Davis, country singer. We'll get to there in a second. But I was like, you know what? We should go a little early. See if we can get some food around there. Some LA food. So she sent me a freaking place. She's like, I want to try this pizza place. I was like, I'm down. Let's do it. So we drive there. Get this pizza place. There's a line out the door. Went fast, though. There's like 
famous people all over the wall pictures and they serve by the slice nice so you know Dave Portnoy yeah I said eight she knows about she knows about Dave Portnoy said he has an app we should download it and see what the score was well it turns out this place is actually from New York like straight from New York from New York it's called Prince Street Pizza and I get it was voted best pizza 2022 in New York City that's how good it is bro Dave Portnoy gave it an eight six out of ten I don't think you know how high that is. That's pretty good. No. His average scores are like low sixes. No, I've seen him. That's an 8-6, Yeah, bro. I've seen him. This pizza was fire. This pizza was dang fuck. And then, of course, a reel pops up in my phone one day, and it's it's that place, and I was like, oh, of course I'm going to follow it. So I start looking at it, I'm like, dude, I'm fucking creaming for this shit right now. For that fucking pizza? Dude, it's so good. You know, so obviously, you know, we're not pizza professionals here. No. You know, Dave Portnoy, he's not. Also, it's it's not a new, it's not a classic New York slice. It's a Sicilian style pizza, like uh-huh. squares. Yeah. Okay, continue. You know, but obviously we're not pizza professionals. Okay. But my brother recently went to um, went to Italy uh-huh. in 2022, uh-huh. and he said that the pizza they have there is the best pizza. Did he go to like Napoli or something? He has ever had. Did you go to Napoli? I, I want to say it was Naples. No, that's Florida, right? Naples, Florida. No. No, you're right. Naples, Italy? Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, Naples, Italy, I guess. Is there a Naples, Florida? <laughs> oh, there is a Naples, Florida. Ah, nice. Wow. Good okay. job, Jose. How are okay. you? How are you for that? But anyways, yeah, he went to Italy, uh-huh. and he said that was the best pizza he ever had in his life. And it's completely different than over here. It's completely different. It's like a margarita pizza. It's I don't even I don't even know what that is, but it's completely different. My brother said that tomato sauce, amazing, sweet. They don't even they don't you they don't cake it up uh-huh. how we do over here. Little. It's barely anything. Uh huh. Cheese. Barely you know, anything. It's, it's it's not that it's barely anything, but it's like there's gaps. You yeah. Know? It's not a whole fucking layer. It's because it's fresh mozzarella. 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 <laughs> It's the fresh of mozzarella. The fucking gabagoo, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, it's that good shit. Uh-huh. I would love to try it. You should go. Uh, Did he... He went because... He went... The army had sent him there? No. Uh, he was on He was on vacation for a little bit. Uh-huh. So he went... I think he was on, on his way to go get his back tattoo. Yes, he was. I remember. So he was on a stop. Uh-huh. He stopped there, and I think. Something like that. But, um... Yeah, he was on vacation for a little bit. But obviously, it's way easier for him since he's out in Germany. Uh-huh. You know? Like, recently, he went out. I think he had, like, a three, like a two- or three-day vacation uh-huh. in Portugal. Went That's to, where he was? He went to, like, a little island in Portugal. Okay. Yeah. And he said that a fucking flight cost him 60 bucks. Damn. $60 for the flight. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And compared to what uh, what it would cost to go from my from Upland uh-huh. or Ontario Airport to that island of Portugal, six hundred to seven hundred dollars, Bruh. Then imagine like what it'd be to fly to Germany just to get the sixty dollar flight. Yeah, yeah. It's because there's so much culture over there, obviously. Obviously, you know. Yeah, passport's gonna be up to date. It's gotta go through a lot more shit. But he had fun though. But he had a ton of fun. Yeah, he had tons of fun. But he's having a ton of fun. All every story he posts, he looks like he's having a fucking. Oh great time. yeah, dude, a blast. Dude, when he lit that fire, that fucking that rocket in his ass, that uh-huh. was fucking funny. See, and it's cool though, cause he he's out there, right? So he's in Germany, but he's surrounded by so many other different countries. Yeah. Like United States on its own little fucking bubble. Right. We're so I far mean, away from everybody. Yeah, you have Canada and you have Mexico, but uh-huh. they've got like. Fucking France, Portugal, Spain, Spain, Italy, England. You know? I mean that you gotta go like a little farther away for that. But yeah, fuck yeah. Like Iraqi, is that around there? Russia? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. No. I don't. I couldn't tell you. No, but um, yeah, there's like so many different places that you can visit. Yeah, you know it's cool that he's stationed out there. But if you're stationed over here, yeah, you got Canada, Mexico. If you're stationed in Japan, what you got? You got the fucking, the blue shining sea. The blue shining sea. 
I just want to go just to try the food. Where exactly? Actually, Singapore. Singapore? Yeah. Heard it's nice there. Supposed to be a great country. Singapore, huh? Yeah. Well, I never heard that, actually. You know what? You never heard of Singapore? I never heard that it was a great country. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's. Just shitting on the fucking country. Are there any? Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. Are there any countries that are deemed to be shitty countries? I don't think so. Are they? Which which ones? Not gonna say them. We're, we're not know? doing that here. <laughs> Parts of Mexico, I would say. You just had it, bro. Okay. Fucking bro. You just had it. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. We're on the fucking cartel's hit list now. We're right. on the top of their hit list. Jesus Christ. Your cousin will help us out. You know, my cousin, <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. He's like, don't worry. He got me like six packs of underwear. We're chilling. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just watched Rambo yesterday. <laughs> got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that last one was fucking dog shit. I'm like, Rambo? Like, yeah, that last... Last Blood? Yeah. Hell no, man. I loved it. Personally, I loved like, it. I'm talking about the most recent one that came out, like, 2019. The one where he saves his fucking... Stepdaughter or whatever. Yeah, yeah. where he goes to Mexico? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I did not like that one, dude. Fire. You know how Fire. savage he went? Dude. Fucking Rambo went off. John Rambo went crazy in that fucking ranch. Yeah, I, I could care less about him. Anyways, that pizza place was fire. I got full off one slice. We bought five. Wow. So that was a mistake. So we drive to the con- the, we drive to the venue now. It's right next to the crypto arena. Literally right across the street. Couldn't find parking. So I had to park in a public lot, right? And I was like, shit, there's just one spot. Took up two, two spaces. Did I tell you this already? No. <laughs> Okay, this person took up two spaces, bro. Fucking asshole. So I was like, I can barely fit my car there, and for sure I'm gonna hit my door in this person's car next to me. It was a shittier car. I was like, so when we're when we're ready to go, we had buzz balls, so we're gonna drink those and then go. I was like, when we're ready, I'll back up. You can get in or get out, and then I'll drive in. Okay. So coincidentally, the second we start drinking the buzz balls, this family comes and locks the door. Big ass family, bro. <laughs> like that car is full. It's like clowns getting out of a car. Yeah. No, no, They were going to get in. So I rolled on the window and I say, hey, I'm going to back up so you guys can get in. So I start backing up and the freaking daughter starts walking in. And she's like, watch yourself, boy. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, huh? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was, was the family back? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. And then she was like, watch yourself, boy. Okay. And then I was like, I just said I was going to back up. And then the mom starts going like, you're good. Thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. And she's like, you almost hit me. Watch yourself. And she was like, shut up. <laughs> he said he's going to back up. And then, dude, they sat there for like five minutes. That daughter was just staring at us. Was she just dogging you? Yeah, Man. dude. And I was like, I just said I was going to back up so y'all can get in the fucking car. Everyone else got it except maybe, for her. Maybe, maybe. Maybe you know the tensions were high. You know she was. She felt hot and heavy. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Maybe she was just like looking. Maybe she was undressing you in her mind. No. You know. No, she was pissed. The tensions between you and her. The, the tension was just too much. It broke the spring, bro. <laughs> it broke the spring. Yeah. What broke the spring was fucking two buzz balls. Buzz balls are amazing. Two buzz balls, you're good. Like me, especially you. You'll be chilling. Oh, yeah. Off two buzz balls. Oh, definitely. Okay. So we drank the two buzz balls. And it's perfect because you don't spend much money. Exactly. You know? Maybe take one in the back pocket for a uh-huh. fucking uh-huh. stim. Uh-huh. <laughs> but we, we take the buzz balls and, you know, we walk to the venue, get inside, and then we start drinking. And then she's like, oh, I, I got double shots. I was like, fuck. I got another double shot. I think it was three double shots. And by then the concert's going. So so two bu- two buzz balls mm-hmm. and three double shots each. Yeah, no, just for her. I stopped drinking. Oh okay. I was driving. Okay. I would I would take drinks of her wow. drink. Wow. Three du- three double yeah. shots. Yeah. Oh okay. fuck. So then I was like, okay, I want a cran vodka, so I'm gonna go get it. So we got a cran vodka, and then you know at a concert like you're you're dancing with her. So she was facing forward, and then we're dancing, and her bag was on her right side. So I was kind of holding her down here, but the drink was in my left hand low. 
for no reason, just swings her bag across, knocks my drink out of my hand. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. But there was like, the next person closest to us was like two feet to our left. So they didn't oh. see it. So then like we're dancing like a minute later, I seem to start looking on the ground and I was like, yep, this didn't happen. I'm just like looking, I'm like acting like I don't see him at all. Okay. You know, before I start, it was a couple. They had masks on. You know, to each their own. Uh, not, not fucking me. Okay. They had masks on. So now they're trying to lighten the floor. Bitch has no shoes on. Or socks. But she's wearing a fucking mask. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, where, where's the... Like, where's, where's the line here? What? What? She's wearing a mask so she don't get fucking COVID. She's wearing no fucking shoes at a public place in the middle of L.A.? No socks either, bro. Well, to play the devil's advocate uh-huh. here. What shoes to was play, she wearing? To play the devil's advocate here. Uh-huh. All right. We're not sure that she was trying to keep herself away from COVID. Maybe she was trying to keep you all away from what she had. No. You know what? You could be right. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. That's just a scenario. Okay. All right. What really made me mad was when she put her shoes on. Oh, she had her shoes with her. Yes. Her boyfriend had them. Why'd she have them off? Fucking no. Doc Martens, bro. There's no way those shits were you know that why? uncomfortable. You had to you take know, those shits off. No, you know why? There's no fucking way. Yes, there's a way, bro. No, bro. You know, yes. No. I, like, for example, dude, girls constantly suffer from the fucking, when the boots are brand new. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it fucking rubs the back of your heel, especially. Well, she should have fucking thought about that. Before. Then it cuts them, and then you put the fucking band-aids on them shits. Oh, my God. Dude, I remember one time I went to a festival. Uh-huh. I had a problem, right? I had a fucking problem. It was really bad. Herpes. And I knew, <laughs> and I knew I was gonna have this problem. Uh huh. But you did it anyways. So, I did it anyways. But, you know, I thought ahead. You know, I fucking got ahead of this fucking emergency here. Uh huh. And I packed my sandals in my backpack. Nice. Flew to Vegas for the festival. I had a really, really bad corn on my pinky toe. Uh huh. It's really bad. Uh huh. Like that that <laughs> thing is fucking. Is it still there? Uh, you know it's dumbed down a bit because you know I fucking been taking care of it, uh-huh. been shaving it, you know, I've been maintaining it. It's it's like just a, file it down. It's a, yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's like a being fucking growing out of me. I gotta uh-huh. maintain it, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But I knew it was gonna get really bad, so uh-huh. I, I had my slip ons at a festival. You're there all day, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. All fucking day, and. Oh my god, like halfway through the day, my slip ons are killing me. Your I, slip ons? My slip ons on that corn. You know what a corn is, right? Yes. Yeah. The corn, say this is my pinky toe, uh-huh. the corn is literally like right here. Uh huh. It was killing me. Okay. I had to eat back, get myself out of those slip ons, and put my rainbows on. I could not do it. No way, sir, Bob. Those I rainbows do it. are probably the best thing that, that ever happened. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Uh, you know, and at that point, maybe that's what that chick was fucking feeling. Maybe she was just feeling so much fucking pain. Maybe she should have had fucking socks on. I don't know. I at least had rainbows on. You're right. All I know is that that, that contrary was good. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Jordan Davis, especially since he played like eight songs off of an album that weren't released yet. Uh, the crowd was pretty quiet for a while. Yeah. Like, he should have played, like, two or three songs. It was, like, eight. And then he did, like, his most famous song last, which is, like, normal, I guess, in a way. But other than that, it was a good night, man. Good-ass night. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Most big events are typically good nights. Yeah. Unless you're just deemed for fucking doom. What? You know? You gotta write that down. Huh? Write that down. <laughs> deemed for doom? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even know what that means. Well, anyways, dude, that's all I got for you, my boy. That's it? My boy. Nothing? You want to talk to me about anything else? I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> just trying to make Actually, you think. I, yeah, I, I do have something else, but no. We can do it off air. I'm done. Okay. Plug yourself. I'm hungry. I'm fucking still oven. Okay, plug yourself. Go ahead and follow me. Instagram and Twitter. Sick puppy with two E's. Mm-hmm. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Daddy's Dungeon P. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. 
Anchor. Go ahead, my friend. You want to follow me on Instagram at Big Deal with two G's, Twitter Big Deal underscore. Wait, <laughs> it's Big with two G's underscore Dill on Twitter. Um, fuck it. Bye. <laughs>